There you have it. The reason she can no longer meditate is because of the Korean government. No, just joking. Uh, because um, subways are great, <clears throat> and oftentimes you might be able to find a seat uh, if you're not traveling during the busy times. Unfortunately, for most of us, we do have to travel during those commute times, um, causing uh, the seats to be filled constantly. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, but people packed shoulder to shoulder like sardines. Uh, get squished up against people sitting down and um, really the government looked at it and said all those seats are just wasted standing space. So they decided to run a pilot program, uh, I believe this January, by removing the seats of um, certain cars in line four. A car is a term for one of the sections of a subway um, car, <laughs> subway train, there we go, yeah. Uh, and adding, thankfully, because I saw the, the pictures at first, adding um, handholds um, in the middle and around. Because when I saw the pictures at first, mm -hmm. it was the current handholds minus the seats. Uh -huh. And I was like, if the train stops at all, everyone's going to be pushed forward. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? But apparently they've added stuff, I hope. At least the article said so. Um, and they said that they can get... I think it was up to almost like up to 40 or 46 people more per car, mm -hmm. um, hopefully reducing the uh, 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 sort of congestion of people up to 150 some odd percent, mm -hmm. um, which is great when you're really looking at your um, sort of uh, uh, heartless numbers, the cold numbers of it all. Mm -hmm. You're saying, oh, the efficiency of this is going to be 153 more percent. You can meet, fit this many more people, blah, blah, blah. Um, however, people are obviously not very happy about this. Those who do want to sit down now have to figure out which car is going to be empty mm. of seats mm -hmm. and which is not. So if you're standing there during your commute time, you have a long line behind you. You're just praying that that car is not going to be the one that's standing. And if it is, you have to stand. There's no way to do it any do uh, get to any other section. So people are complaining about this, and the other complaint is for people who do have legitimate reasons for sitting. Mm -hmm. Those who are I don't know pregnant, have some sort of knee issue, back issue, have a hard time standing for a while, um, have a hard time with balance for any sort of medical um, reason, and these people are now kind of like like I know it's efficient, but these seats are the only thing I have for commuting. Mm -hmm. um, I assume the government is going to not create uh, seatless cars for the whole train, but kind of a few here and there. Um, however, hopefully they will be labeled very well mm -hmm. on the outside everywhere so that people can um, um, choose their cars wisely. <laughs> And everything, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, people will probably get used to this, like I do. I did this idea quite quickly. Um, but if there was a standing only and a seated one, I wonder what I would pick. Mm -hmm. Anyways, mm -hmm. actually, I'll ask you. Mm -hmm. You know, why not? We'll just jump to this question, and I'll ask you guys too. During rush hour, especially. Would you rather have the seatless car or the seated one? It depends on how far I'm going. Mm -hmm. If it's um, rush mm -hmm. hour and I'm not going that far, like under 20 minutes, mm -hmm. easily the seatless one mm -hmm. is fine. But if I'm going any uh, 30 minutes plus mm -hmm. standing, but uh, I suppose if it's during rush hour, maybe I'm not gonna get a seat anyway. Yeah. Um, I very rarely travel a long distance. Um, when it's rush hour because I know I won't be able to get a seat mm -hmm. and I'm really upset by standing for that amount of time. Um, but for some people, that's not an option. What if you live out in yeah. uh, the suburbs mm -hmm. uh, up north or something and yeah. you just have to get that train yeah. and you... Rel I I'm thinking about the people. Mm -hmm. So when the subway mm -hmm. is in the city centre, you know, it's a scrum. Some people get a seat, some people don't. Yeah. But if you're coming from the outskirts, I used yeah. to do it from Bangi or near mm. Olympic Park to mm -hmm. Jongno. Mm -hmm. And because I was one of the first mm. ones on the train, I was guaranteed a seat, yeah. which I thought was fair because I'm traveling the longest or yeah. the furthest. Mm. Um, but what if it's a seatless yeah. subway and I can't sit down? 
Just even though I'm first on and I want yeah. to, st I've got to stand for an hour. Mm -hmm. They got to be careful how they do this. Yeah. <laughs> they really should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I do know that there are um, foldable seats or Haida seats or whatever mm -hmm. they're called, yeah. which would be a good compromise. Like during some commu high commute times, those seats would automatically fold back into the place mm -hmm. so that people couldn't like pull them down on their own. Mm -hmm. um, that way it would add extra space. But when it's less time, they can come back down. I'm not sure. I'm not they sure. have the folding mm -hmm. ones because you know the London subway mm -hmm. is so narrow oh, and gosh, tiny yeah. if you've ever been there. They've most of them these days are made with these folding mm -hmm. seats. So during rush hour, it, it doesn't like they can't force people not to sit down, but most people will okay. just put the seats up and let more uh, people yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. London has it, even though very tiny tube. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, now, let's say you're standing, your legs are hurting, you got an hour to go, seats are full. How do you spot someone who's going to give you a vacant seat to rush into? Well, mm -hmm. I've I've never had any luck with this. You know, sometimes you think. Cause mm -hmm. I thought if oh if they're looking at the the boards, mm -hmm. looking at the stops, is that that's a sign that they're going to get off soon? They're waiting for their mm -hmm. stop. But often people will just do that for ages. You know, stop after stop. Or sometimes you think oh they're reading a book. Oh they're they're settled in for yeah. an hour, and then suddenly they're close the book and they've yeah. gone, and you're like oh wow that's I got a seat. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Have you ever found any predictors? Um, the only thing I've really been able to say is for sure is when they start to gather up their stuff. Um, like when they're kind of loosey-goosey with everything mm -hmm. and then they sort of kind of tighten everything up, put mm -hmm. their like purse back on their wrist or whatever, mm -hmm. put their phone, like get their phone close. I don't know. It just has this like getting ready to move feeling mm -hmm. with gathering their stuff together. Um, but the best tail, tail sign is when they stand up and walk away. Ah. <laughs> and then you know for sure. <laughs> then it's a scrum down. Fastest yeah. one to the seats. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have good tips on identifying uh, which passengers will allow us to sit down by vacating the seat, please put them down below so Claire can see and finally be able to get her seat going home for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys, uh, make sure not to have your brains be vacant um, and go down to the vocabulary vocabulary below um, so that you can learn and use these in everyday situations, including during your subway ride. I don't suggest yelling them out, but rather studying them and maybe telling your friends about them. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Vacant. Vacant. Congestion. Congestion. Notorious. Notorious. Illicit. Illicit. Acclimate. Acclimate. 